so many questions. Reading is getting a message from print. The key to strong reading instruction is questioning. But there are questions, and there are questions. But good questions are powerful. Before a student reads, we want to get him thinking about the text. And there are several ways to get questions into a student's mind before he reads. A concrete object, a photo, an experience, or a video can pick a student's interest. And a well-crafted question about what to look for provides a purpose for reading a specific selection. Here's an example. What clues let you know that the main character has a secret? After each age-appropriate silent reading task, then ask more questions. And there are different types of questions that will build a student's comprehension skills as he reads silently. Literal or knowledge questions ask what the author said. They help the reader get information from text. And these are the easiest to ask, but the lowest level of learning. They're also the easiest to answer because you can pick the answer right off the page. What is the main character's secret? A reader could glean this from the page or the picture. So go a bit deeper and we ask interpretive or understanding questions that have to do with what the author meant, but did not explicitly tell him. This helps the readers make logical inferences. And these questions require a student to use information from additional sources to answer the question, something they heard or saw or experienced or read elsewhere, such as, how could the character's secret change his daily life? The reader would need to know what the character's daily life was like. The next two levels develop a reader's higher level thinking skills. Critical or application questions involve what the reader believes. The reader's judgment or opinion often relates to a moral code or a biblical principle. And these questions are the most difficult to answer, but they often lead to great discussions. Such as, why do you think it is hard to keep a secret? The reader must learn to evaluate what he reads based on truths that are part of his background and the values that you have instilled in him. And remember to take time to help your student come to the correct conclusion when right and wrong are involved. This is the most important thinking your student will be taught to do. Now appreciative or experiential questions gauge how the reader responds. The discussions around these questions help you to get to know your student's heart and thoughts, such as, have you ever had a secret? Was it hard to keep? You know, the reader may be willing to share his heart if the atmosphere is right. Comprehension is a multidimensional skill that requires direct, purposeful instruction. And that instruction begins with teaching children to have questions in their minds before they start reading, while they read, and after they read. The structured questioning effectively provides the tools for successful reading, especially in the content areas. And although we begin by getting the simple meaning of the exact words on the page, the real meaning often goes much deeper. Comprehension includes many stages of interaction, application of the text. And over time, we increase our emphasis on study skills and strategies for understanding both fiction and nonfiction selections. Reading is the skill that will have the greatest effect on your student's success in education, on his career, and most importantly, on his growth as a Christian. Is it worth the extra effort to teach reading effectively? Now that's a good question.